Hi, I'm Dr. Tash. In this video, I'll be taking you through an egg collection. Egg collection is a part of IVF treatment. It involves us taking your eggs from your ovaries and then generally putting them together with sperm to make embryos. Some women, however, have egg collections because they're freezing eggs or they're donating their eggs. Regardless of the reason, the process is pretty much the same. From the reception area, you'll be moved into your own allocated bay. In this bay, there'll be a locker where you can keep your things locked up and safe whilst you have your procedure. Here in the bay, you can wait with your partner or your support person. You'll also be meeting your nurse and a scientist, as well as your doctor. Now, some doctors like to use an anaesthetist as part of their egg collections. If that's you, this is where you'll meet them too. You'll be coming back to this recovery bay after your procedure. We then take you down the corridor to your procedure room. And here is the room where the magic starts to happen. During your procedure, the aim is for you to be as comfortable as possible. And there'll be a team of people looking after you. There'll be a couple of nurses, a scientist, your doctor, and possibly an anaesthetist. Your support person and partner can also be present too. Before your procedure starts, the scientist has checked that the incubator is set at body temperature. We then do an ID check. The egg collection takes about 15, 20 minutes. We start by putting in some local anaesthetic around the vagina and ovaries. And under ultrasound guidance, we pop a fine needle into each of those follicles, suck the fluid out and hope to get eggs. So this is some of the equipment we use during an egg collection. Here we've got a vacuum pump, which under negative pressure, sucks in all that fluid from the follicles into these test tubes here. That's why we have test tube babies. Now this here is a tube heater, and what that does is it keeps those test tubes at body temperature. The scientist then looks through your rose-tinted fluid in search of eggs. They then show you your eggs on the screen as they look at them under a microscope. There you have it, a beautiful egg. The biggest cell by diameter in the human body is the oocyte, the human egg cell. Later, it will meet the smallest cell in the human body, the sperm cell. When eggs and sperm come together, big magic happens. After your procedure, you'll go back to the recovery area where you spend about half an hour to an hour, and then you'll get changed and be on your way. Before you go home, you'll know exactly how many eggs we got at collection. It's really important that there is somebody to take you home on the day of your egg collection and to spend the night with you too. Thank you for watching Dr. Tash TV. If you've enjoyed this episode, please share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future goodies. And until then, be well.